Mitsubishi Outlander charging system service required that means the alternator is starting to fail you saw when I wrapped the engine real high it went away and he's back again see if I wrap it a little bit doesn't go away when I step on it it goes away and back who's doing that I'm doing that <laughs> are you doing that Tata? I'm gonna shut it off see you Time to do a new alternator. All right, tools you're gonna need to remove this alternator is gonna be a jack and a jack stand, maybe some WD-40 in case. Now you can do this all by hand, so you don't need to have drills, but you need to have a 10 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, 14 socket, and a 17 socket. Um, two wrench, a 10 little key, and then a 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and a little L key. And that's all you need to remove that baby right there. Let's get on it. Welcome to my channel. All right, here we got a 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander V6 3.0. The job we're gonna be doing is gonna be the alternator. I'll show you exactly what I'll do as I go, but I know the AC compressor gotta be, gotta be removed in order to get to one of the bolts of the alternator and also to take it out if we want to take it out through the bottom which I think that's the only way I can go but I will see what I can do and I will show you exactly oh, and also here's the alternator we're gonna use on it it's a rebuild alternator so original rebuild first thing first disconnect your battery the negative terminal Alright, so so far we took out some couple clips and 410 little screw. So you have a couple screw here, then that plastic, uh, you just bend it over, you don't have to take it off all the way. Then you, you're you going to have another, another plastic up here, just hold by a couple clips, pop those clips out, take that plastic out of the way, and now we can see the tensioner so this is the tensioner right here so we're gonna pull this down and then there's a little hole right here we're gonna stick a little key so it can lock it in place you don't really have to do that if you want you can just you know push push it this way take the bell off and then release it back but if you want you can put a little key on it there just to hold it for you and then we go from there so let's do that all right so here we got a 17 socket on it and see when I pull it toward the front of the car the bell the bell get loose so you pull it and then pull your bell off let me see if I can do that with one hand just hold it with my knee then I'll come up here, take the bell off, then I release the pressure. Take my socket off. That's it. But if you want to lock it in place, like I say, you stick a little key 
when you bring it all the way to the front you stick a little L kit in here to hold it there for you or you can do it afterwards and when I meant a little key this is what I meant you put a little you move this this way put a stick a little L key here and then you don't need to have any other tools holding it so then you can pop your bell off and when whenever you're ready you just pop the new bell in and then you release this take the pin out okay so the AC compressor had three screw one here one on the top right there and one on this side over there so I'm gonna take those off there's one well the other one we already got this one out um, you can take them out completely they're all the same size and pay attention on your connection here for the AC compressor there's a connection on the back let me get to that I gotta unplug it from the top. So let me go on the top. Okay, so from the top, you're gonna press on the top and pull the connector up. And then, if you get lucky, you can press on that little tab inside there and slide this out. But it's this one is is really locked in there. So what I did, I got a little pen up there and. I removed the bowl that is attached to the alternator so the little bracket like this take this off and then the whole thing will just come down completely um, so now just don't drop these you can let it hang because those those are strong hoses uh, but just just don't drop it whenever you're taking it off and then just be gentle and put it on the side out of your way so we can I mean, we're not really dropping this alternator, uh, not alternator, this AC compressor, just to get to those ball, we remove it because this is the only way we can pop, bring this down. And I think we're going to have to remove this bracket for the AC compressor, so we can just drop it down here. So, but you can get to those ball without removing this, but the line will not let you take it out. So let's remove those bracket and those bolts. To remove this cover, the cover the bolts to the alternator. Just get a uh, just get a flat head or this pry bar and uh, go right in the front here and lift up. All right, so now you come on the top, get a 12. Get this loose. The other connection, this one right here, this one has a tap. You press on the tap and pull up for the alternator. This one will remove the bowl. Twelve, and then we pop the wire out. So I need to come straight out. There you go. And so now from up here, now everything is free except we still gotta remove that bowl for the alternator. So we're gonna do that now. So we're gonna come from the top. I'm gonna stick this socket 14. Right there. Make sure it's in all the way. Mm. 
That's a good illusion. You can do it by hand. So I'm taking the top one here. Alright, so now we can go on the bottom. Let's go on the bottom now. So now we gotta we gotta remove those two right there. Um See, and get the other one. Should the suckers in all the way? Okay. see so uh, let's see if we can get it out with, without removing that bracket so let me switch the socket here and see if it's gonna come out So there is a pay attention there. There's a, another bracket there, so don't forget to put that in. I'm gonna leave it right there for now. The ball still the same, so actually not. This one's see this one's thicker. So this is for the alternator. This is I mean AC compressor, sorry. AC compressor. Alternator or thicker. And it's also a different size. So now let's go with the other one. All right, so just remember, don't drop it. So stay. I'm gonna suck it out first, of course. Let's key out. Now, let's see if I can move these around here. Without removing the bracket. That's the plan. So, I'm gonna have to use two hands here. Uh, These over here. Oh yeah. Right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, right there. So forget about removing that bracket. We got this baby. Ow. Right there. You don't have to remove that bracket. Don't listen to those other people saying that you have to remove that bracket. There you have it, you just move this to the left and that thing come right straight right here. Now let's get the new one. Let's uh, match it up. Make sure they all this are the same, so this way. Yes, same thing here, same thing there, so now we work our way back, remember, pull the AC compressor to the side, 
and shove it up there. A little bit of WD-40 on this little bracket. Remember? So, if you took it out like this, now pop this out and put it on the alternator. So all you gotta do is clip it up there once you have it up there. Alright, if you doing this job, might as well do a new belt. This is the part number for the belt. Okay, so before you release that little pin, make sure your belt is lining up in all the groups. Make sure it's, it's not uh, overlapping on the edge. And then uh, you can remove your, your pin. Uh, pin right there there and then I just let it go and there you see it everything's back on everything is connected so now we just gotta put those plastic back on and connect the negative battery and turn it on So here we go. So now we're just gonna let it idle and see if that fix the problem. Yeah, I got the hood open. All right. All right, so I drove the car. I let it idle and everything's good. Before when I used to start it, it was a, uh, it was it was sound really weak. So now it sound nice and healthy the charge. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, likes and share, and see you in the next one.